What is that on your chest? No, it's not what you're thinking. It is a t-shirt, though. Oh, oh I love your t-shirt. Thanks. Where'd you get it? I got it at uh, thebigbootstore.com. Oh. It's really nice. I love how you just care so much about your own chest, but not mine. Because, oh. you know, I have something special here, too. The, we have the bigger design. Yes. And, and we the, have the, the smaller <laughs> design. <laughs> Whether you like large graphics or small graphics, we have a merch for you. So go check it out. It says, uh, no matter what phase, you're always whole. Yeah, because you are. Like the moon. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you can't always see it, but it's always there. Yeah. So you're whole. You can get yours today at bigmoodstore.com just in time for Halloween, too. For this pretty yellow moon. It's perfect for Halloween. Go get it. I love you. Say it back. Say it back. Or I guess, oh yeah, this does come out in the morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's us, the Big Mood Girls. Yay. Yay. Welcome back to another episode of Big Mood. I'm Gina. I'm Jess. I'm Nikki. Tiff here. And we have another fun episode where we're going to be talking about our life updates because we yeah, always do so much shit since our in between our life updates. We always have so much shit going on. And we think yeah. that you guys like to hear these, so it breaks yeah. up the the monotony of like we just do like relationship topics. Or yeah, something, plus so, yeah. don't you like you want to know what's going you on? You care in about our us, lives, right? right? <laughs> She's clearly struggling with the baby <laughs> oh, yeah. belly that's getting bigger. No, right now, I want to cross my legs. I'm like, oh, shit, I can't. Uh, and every time she makes a movement, she's like, it takes her all her breath. It yeah. really does. Yeah. You're breathing for two. It's okay. I You're breathing am. For two. Yeah. So now I'm 19 weeks. So like it's not I mean it's which means five months by the way, but mm-hmm. I'm not like that big yet. But it definitely mm-hmm. is like taking a lot of energy out of you me. You only have four months left. I know I'm almost Dude, what the this hell? crazy. Yeah, Did, you just we just you just told us like two days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah you just had sex. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we got the well, text we that said Casey <laughs> inseminated me. You know, like yeah. that's weird. I can pull it up right now. That's the pregnancy well, yeah. I got very technical. I got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so at twenty. The twenty week mark is exactly halfway, and that's next week for me. Oh, oh wow. shit! Yeah, you can what? do a half half um, prim, tri, trimester. <laughs> what are they right? called? <laughs> trimester. <laughs> yeah, but then I guess it'd be a, a bimester. Semester. Yeah, bimester. Semi- oh, bimester. that's right. That's right. We're geez. Semi- <laughs> yeah, I didn't pay attention Mid- to school. Mid year sale or yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> semi annual mid year yeah, sale. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. That's but crazy. Yeah. I know. It's going by so fast. I think it's so funny how like people refer to their pregnancy and infants like, oh, it's like 12 weeks long. The amount of weeks. Imagine if we did months. that. I would 154 love that. weeks old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know why though? That like... For, so with Isaac, I didn't know what the it's reason like three was. Three years old. <laughs> did you do the math? Because I needed that. Yeah, I really did. Yeah. I, did, I had no idea how many weeks were in here. But try. I thought, thought it was. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's old. Yeah. 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 I thought I nailed it. Whoops. <laughs> All right. How about like a thousand sixty-two weeks old? That, I love how it's whatever your the age is. Divide it by two, and that's in the uh, hundreds. Fifteen hundred weeks. I don't know. Your eyes. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not 1500 right. weeks old. You're old, okay? You're yeah, fucking old. ancient in weeks. That's a lot of weeks. <laughs> yeah, I never knew the reason why they went by weeks with pregnancy and then why they went by months for babies. I'm like, I was so fucking annoyed. I'm they like, they grow so rapidly between yeah. the weeks. Like, yeah, like exactly it means a lot. every single yeah. one is like yeah. a different milestone. And there's, there's like, and also for the weeks part. So then they say we're pregnant for nine <clears throat> months, right? But if you count it, it's 40 weeks. So you're like, wait. There's like four weeks in every month, isn't it? Ten months being pregnant, but because some months don't have like the full like thirty days or whatever, or I forgot the exact explanation. That's the like point five is, days, I guess, over the span of so that's almost like a week. Yeah, exactly. It ends up breaking down a little bit different to babies, make it to nine months. Babies grow so fast, and they always grow out of their clothing so fast. Yeah. I feel like it's such a waste of money, right? Getting clothes for them. Mm-hmm. So I want to keep my baby in a burlap sack until he's like <laughs> one, two, or something. That's why you make friends with people having babies around the same time, or like they're a little bit yeah, older, yeah. so you get their hand me downs. Yes. And they already got hand me downs from some other person's hand me downs. Re- this baby already got a hand me down. See our crib. Oh yeah. Our neighbors gave us their crib. I, I always think it's so funny when people buy <coughs> designer baby clothes. Yeah. It's like, come on. It's just going to fit in that for like a, a waste. day. Yeah. Such a waste. That's for the gram. Mm-hmm. For, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For, for the gram. And baby clothes cost a lot more in designer brands. 
I bet. Really? They're milking like they're, they're actual adult designer clothes. Because they're oh like, those Sometimes. moms, they got the money to spend. They're just going to waste their money on this. Yeah, let's charge them with the asshole because they'll spend whatever. Right? Because so, they don't want to buy the knockoff. Those are the type of people that won't buy the knockoff. That's true. But you get a cricket printer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put a sticker. Print a, print a Gucci. Yeah. No, you, you can make it vinyl. Like it looks like That's legit. Illegal. Like you all see those TikToks Nikki. where they're making it's like illegal. knockoff <laughs> Nikes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Yeah. From a Cricut printer. Yeah. Wow. Because yeah, they do vinyl Chinese. and it looks. Well, you know, exactly I don't like buy it. fake shit. So no, I'm just kidding. How would so you rich. know? How are <laughs> so they gonna rich. know? She's so. so how will they know? No. They, they're not gonna know. Yeah. I want to have fake designer baby clothes. See? from china i'll make them for you out yeah. of paper right. wait so them. are you gonna have a baby i'm like really confused she just wants the baby to do the to, to put do the i thought you were on my clothes. side i know sometimes i want a baby <laughs> same right but sometimes i like most of the time i don't it's like okay you know what the only the, if i unless something changes i kind of want a baby but under very strict rules like my conditions like it has to be a surrogate mm. because i don't want to do the whole birthing process it scares the crap out of me and like my baby has to be cool if he's not cool i'm just gonna be like all right get out gina <laughs> <laughs> if I have, have twins, your baby. I'll yeah. you, if I have twins, I'll give you one. Oh, thanks! Yeah. See? So See? we'll be like, that's so crazy. They look so similar. Right. <laughs> like, you guys just look so Nikki, similar. Oh my God, they're through, gonna be. If you went through a pregnancy with twins, you're gonna be like, fuck that. I worked for that kid. She's gonna sure. pay for it. But then it's gonna start all these rumors because, like, oh, Gina's kid looks like Steve. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, weird. We knew Steve was fucking all the girls. And then yeah. I could, we could have a whole internet drama where I'm like, no, no. Yeah. yeah. No, he, he would never. <laughs> he would never. It looks nothing like And Mike. like, we'll like subtly like stab each other. <laughs> and everyone's like, I think they're in like, like, uh, I think there's drama. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, my kid grew up and he has blue eyes for some reason. Like, <laughs> but it's like totally not Steve's baby, okay? <laughs> like you and Steve are in a picture together. I'm like, get out of my pi- the picture, you whore. <laughs> Why are you standing next to him? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm like, I'm the same where I'm like, sometimes I want it. I want a five-year-old. That's what I want. Yeah. That's yeah. what the heart is. Oh, my God. I, I love want, how like, everyone a, wants an eight-year-old. Skip. Yeah, an exactly. Old. That's why. Why not skip? Why? No. Okay. So everyone always wants to skip the newborn stage. Yeah. yeah. And that's the fucking easiest stage, minus the sleep deprivation part. Yeah, but they part baby smell like but, shit. They scream. But that they're fucking easy. They don't talk back to you. All you have to do is change their diaper. They cry. Feed them. I, I can't. Sh- I can't kid. shut it up. I can. Yeah, sleep you can. Like an alarm. I you can't shut it up turn if you figure it out. You just gotta make sure that they're not hurt. That they're burped. That they're clean, or like their diapers no, they change, be, that they're they comfortable. I can barely clean cry, myself, cry, though, cry, you know? Cry. Like, my eight year old won't talk back to me if I smack him enough, so it's fine. <laughs> we'll figure it out somehow. Yeah. yeah, that's why, like, for me, out of Isaac's entire life, I think my. I mean, right. Every stage is, like, my new favorite. Because mm-hmm. even right now, like, he's a fucking little shit teenager, teenager with teenager. his attitude. But I would, I would still kind of, like, no, maybe not. Okay, I don't know. Still wipe his ass? No, no, no. I, I was gonna okay. say I, I would still maybe pick this stage over his previous stage, but I really <laughs> fucking loved his previous stage because he was still so like sweet. He I liked really him have at like that, eight. Those hormones. I don't know him now. I haven't spent as much time with him now. But like at eight, I was like, oh, I could, t- I could do that. Yeah, I think for You're me, so it's like between at four hundred before... weeks. Well, yeah, yeah four hundred <laughs> weeks. So it's like before they realize that they like could potentially have power over you at some point it's like they're still innocent enough to like that you're the parent so they like kind of believe everything you say and they yeah. like listen to everything you say well, and then they're Isaac still kind of like specifically he kind of had like a a phase where like between like six to about nine ish or eight he was like a preteen like that was his preteen and then from 10 to like yeah like 12 that i think was my most favorite Cause he wasn't, he wasn't He's, that like there was no attitude like he wasn't yeah. as like entitled or whatever mm. like kind of behavior that yeah. he had back then and then kind of now that little like sweet spot was I think is probably my most favorite yeah because he was super independent yeah really like loving and responsible I think that's and, gonna come back around again like after twenty five yeah, yeah. so definitely. like once they're an, so yeah you just got to get through the trenches of the teenage I know years. and it just started <laughs> yeah it just yeah. started and, and then, then I'm you're like, having another one Jesus no but then also like you know being pregnant and all their hormones and shit like we're always like there's two very hormonal people yeah. in uh, the true. home right now right. poor Casey dude oh yeah. my god <laughs> he's been a saint he oh. has been a saint thank are you, God for are you that drinking a lot now or <laughs> no, <you're> gonna, like, <laughs> not drinking no, anything nothing. no coffee Coffee. He's just taking life raw. He's raw dogging it. Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. He does have something in his back pocket. Therapy. 
That, oh, that fucking nice. helps. Like, I thought you were going to so say blowjobs. Like, <laughs> that's life's <laughs> best condom. Uh, Doubt it. Uh, therapy is no, life's best because condom. Of the- <laughs> yeah. Because of therapy, though, like, our household has been, like, okay, cool. We have a peacemaker here because mm-hmm. he, like, learned how to communicate a lot better and, like, cool. can control his his own anger, his own ego and all that stuff. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let's all follow his example because yeah. Isaac and I are fucking wild right now. Yeah. I liked Isaac. When How old was he when we went to Japan? Seven. Oh, he was a sweet Yeah, I liked him. He was seven. I remember, oh, I remember that time. I'm like... God. I know that yeah. you guys were having issues with him, but then like because we weren't his parents, he yeah. would just always behave with that's us. That's your problem. We so were having a like, great yeah. time. Yeah. I was like, see, that's why I'm like down to be thing. an auntie or an uncle. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, or I guess I'm just an auntie. I can't be an uncle, but <laughs> <laughs> you can be nowadays. Don't tell someone I, I can't, what oh, they that's can. True. can't be. I'm, I, yeah. I identify as an auntie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we have so many nieces and nephews that I'm like, I kind of love that because they fucking love yeah. us. It's like when we come over, it's like the fucking time of the we're celebrities. Yeah. Oh, they like run cute. to the door. They're so fucking pumped that we're there. I always liked my aunt yeah. more than like my actual yeah, me too. My kid's not going to give a shit. No. I'm like, do you know how cool I am? Yeah. yeah. And you can just like, like do nah. things with the kids without consequences. Like give them a drum set. I don't know how to deal with that <laughs> yeah. at night. You guys do. <laughs> give it to the parents that you don't like that much. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give them Legos. A Vuvuzela. Oh, God. <laughs> one of those at night. So many noisy kid toys too. So many. I go to uh, my sister-in-law's house and I'm like, I can't handle all the noisy kid toys. Yeah. My mom I take the batteries up. out of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> my mom has straight up ended an engagement once because her her dude's kids were too loud in the morning. She's like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm like, all right, there was maybe some other steps you could have taken. <laughs> <laughs> but you do you, I guess. Yeah, duct tape's a thing. <laughs> yeah, right? Come Benadryl. On. Just fucking <laughs> pull with you. Fucking ear, earplugs. Yeah. But you know, she's insane. So who knows? That's funny. What's new in your life, Nikki? Mm, A lot. Oh, I cut ten inches off my hair. I know it looks so good. I don't like it. I don't want her to keep cutting her hair, bitch. (laughs) Stop being jealous. It grows. It grows so fast. I grow an inch a month. I know. That's why I'm like, why do you keep cutting it? Because it's heavy. How long? How long was it before? It was down to here. That's ten inches. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Well, girl, yeah. I've been lied to. <laughs> Have you never sent it? <laughs> <laughs> so that's ten inches. <laughs> Remember last last shoot, you were like, "It looks like you have a bob." When one of my layers right. yeah. behind my ear, so it I was like, cute. "I'm just gonna cut it to that layer." Oh, you took it and ran with it. Yeah, I took nice. it and ran. I like it. Yeah. I just kind of feel like you know how they say like your hair holds memories of whatever time it was going through. I just wanted to cut all of 2020 off yeah i was just like mm, smart. that's but 2020 is about here yeah you're yeah. gone yeah. Bye. yeah i actually been thinking about doing the same no stop cutting your hair off <laughs> listen jess <laughs> I'm vote not cutting hair off. Just Wait, your hair short. is yes. short. That's why I'm like, don't oh my fucking God, you do it. The same hair. Oh, See? Yeah, same hair. Don't length. fucking do it. You don't like yourself. That's what you're doing. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> don't fucking do it's like it. No, I'm just saying, like, while we're young and we have luscious hair, when you get old, you're going to be in these old fucking lady haircuts. Keep your nice, youthful hair while you still that's have it. You're Filipina. You're point. bound to have the Filipino hair bob. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I can't wait. Listen, I was like, once I start getting grays, I can finally start dyeing my hair because I've been putting it off because every time I go to the hair salon my lady's like you have such rich color Virgin in your hair. hair like don't do it yeah. you it's really good people hair pay color. to dye their hair that color yeah. and like you, you're gonna lose it and it's gonna damage your hair blah, blah blah so i'm like okay once i start going gray then i'll be able to do it i found five gray hairs she dyes that five strands every <laughs> <Yeah. night. laughs> i was like Ooh, look i can do it and then my hairdresser was still like no don't do good it good for her it's so your sorry. head of hair no but she doesn't Fuck need to wreck it <laughs> i know i don't want her to wreck I'm like very scared It'll of like grow out especially because your hair grows so fast you can it fuck it up and just like all this blonde shit right here this is my dyed hair from when i had blue hair mm-hmm. but everything else is virgin hair like i haven't done anything to this hair so yeah you see it grows grow fast i'm really thinking of going back to like semi-darkish hair Ooh, it's just expensive Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the other thing. Both of blonde you guys is look expensive. So good, blonde. Like, I, I love blonde. You are so never, much. even though it's your head of hair, you're never allowed to go back to brunette. Yeah, never, ever. Yeah, you have to stay blonde. <laughs> you just so used to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll do it. Yeah. I mean, I see like, um, what's her name? Uh, there's like some actresses that like have been blonde for so long, and then when they go back to brown, I'm like, oh, that really made a difference. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, like, like what's- Amelia Clark. Her uh, fucking. Oh, oh yeah. What's her name? Khaleesi. Oh, yeah. yeah. Khaleesi. What's the other one I'm thinking of? Um. Zoe Deschanel, Zoe Deschanel is, is way different as a blonde in Elf. Yes. I like her better dark hair. I like yeah. her better dark hair. But uh, so a lot of people that are 
pale they are they think going dark will make them look more tan but it actually it makes them look more pale yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly so i it's think harsh. this like i think that my face up. and my skin are pretty harsh with the dark hair like i look yeah. like a russian bitch <laughs> <laughs> you know like so the, the blonde kind of makes me a honestly, little you lighter. looked like a politician when i first met you i was a like politician yeah you had your dark hair and you wore it like you didn't really style it you no. just always like wore it back and you had like very conservative clothes mm. like you would you know politician. you still do <laughs> i was like a and congresswoman then, yeah the way she built. speaks See? is very neutral and so i'm like she's a fucking politician she never points at you she does this yeah <laughs> especially when she gets heated about a certain topic then i'm like oh my god i don't want to fuck with her yeah. Yeah. i'll vote for you shit just like stop yelling at me <laughs> whatever it is i'll you. vote for you jesus christ yeah. maybe you should run for office you should okay. you complain about enough stuff yeah you're like, just really change it. it's convincing it's like, i'm really good at getting shit done yeah exactly really oh my god you scared the shit out of this company we were working with yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's that's right. we almost had to sue someone but like my very carefully crafted emails uh, avoided that because there they we went go. ahead and did yeah. what we asked. Yeah. She should be a politician. She should. Whatever it is, man. Build the wall. Fuck it. I'll vote for you. Don't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, just kidding. I'll hire you for whenever I need someone to... I'm just going to hire you as a professional arguer. Yeah. Like, well, I don't know what that is. You just my title. Yeah. yeah. I'll give yes. you a, a sick title like a CFO. Like pre-litigator. Set. Yeah. Pre- there you go. <laughs> I would love to see just like do an exercise where we all or we have the same topic we're trying to sue one person for a certain thing and each of us has to write an email and see how different it is oh yeah that'd be a fun <laughs> yeah. exercise mine will be like one sentence it's just that's why i wanted to do i wanted to do an episode tell us what you think about this of like us all doing a powerpoint presentation on whatever subject we want oh like, yeah like whatever that's subject fun. Wow. i love that do PowerPoint. that does sound fun does but it doesn't fun? sound yeah. fun yeah it's well, like you homework. tips like I don't want to do. Work. I like that one better. That you one must just fun. argue or like craft an email. But, but it's fun to do really the clicky. Fun, the yeah. clicky ring is fun. Yeah, you, also you, have you don't know experience you bitch. I barely. <laughs> but I want it to be like the most random topics. Like mine will be yeah. like why pregnancy is the work of the devil. Exactly. And, you know, I'll just send. <laughs> it's just so all these, Yeah. Because part of it is not knowing what people's topics are going to be. Yeah. It's yeah. so random, yeah. and it's something that you got to be passionate about it. Yo, let's do this. Present it. That does. Let's get like I need an example though because I'm I'm insecure. I need an example. We'll, yeah. we'll give we'll you go help. First. We'll give you help. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to raw dog it. You okay. You're thinking for two. We'll give you we'll give you no, I can only raw dog it when I'm very passionate about something. I know. And we'll then give you something this. good. So Casey's dick. Oh no, she is not. <laughs> Why I love Casey's She's not dick. That passionate. A PowerPoint Pause. presentation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I pause because I'm like, yeah, I guess I am. Like I had to realize, like. I am. am no, I? but yeah, like, what does it look like? It's mainly like being pissed off. That's when I can really, okay, really a, get it. Pick a topic you're pissed off yeah. about. That's when How I can fucking kill it. How not to fire someone? No, I'm How to convince people I was not born and raised. <laughs> I can do a PowerPoint presentation on that. How everything needs to be symmetrical. Nah. Yeah. How I was definitely right. not born in Tijuana and raised there. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I will not be convinced. I will not be convinced by the end of that. I'm not. It's not going to work for me. She'll never believe you. Never. That's funny. She will never believe that you spent the majority of your life in the United States. I fucking love that. We should do that. Just get shit faced on you. Isn't that fun? And then just do it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, we have to be drunk. It'll be the last episode of the she day. She can have one glass of wine. Oh my god, let's yeah. do this. Don't get me drunk. <laughs> I would love to also be drunk. Can we wait till I'm done breastfeeding? Yeah. She's well, you're not waiting until next year. She'll be brain drunk because she's pregnancy brain. Oh, true. So. You can pretend to be drunk when everyone else is drunk. You know that you can. Yeah, I can. You can, I can drink do that. It. I can I can actually remember you can what embody it feels like to be drunk or to be on other substances and like my body remembers. So then I end up having like a what is it like a deja vu kind of feeling yeah. but like my i can like make my body feel that way right so i can I'll give totally you a, a non-alcoholic beer and then you'll <laughs> feel like you'll be put back Smell in that it. place fun yeah. fact tiff and i have actually been so drunk that we both puked on the side of a freeway once yep and on my memory. pants yeah there's, yeah. On Jess's there's pants. an instagram yeah. story on it yeah <laughs> oh yeah Someone, in someone's archive yeah in someone's archive <laughs> it's in there god damn it <laughs> that was a fun night it was but uh what we ended up puking up was that that dinner that we had that night and <laughs> god <laughs> and it was really delicious and uh we ordered it from doordash oh god <laughs> <laughs> so doordash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door and now you can get the grocery essentials you need with DoorDash too. You can get drinks, snacks, and other household items delivered in under an hour. So once this baby comes through, getting oh, yeah. diapers 
or oh yeah or i don't know formula for some reason or whatever other baby essentials i need in the middle of the night that will be you know handy. you know what i love like when i order from a restaurant on doordash though like well at least in los angeles they'll give you the option that you have like 10 minutes you can also get something from 7-eleven that's yeah. cool for like the without any extra price so then i'm like oh yeah i wanted freaking donuts too oh <laughs> my god like, just add it onto my order <laughs> yeah that's so convenient and ordering is super easy. You open the DoorDash app, you choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory, among others. So for a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code MOOD. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code MOOD. Don't forget, that's code MOOD for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Yes. And if you don't want to be in... <laughs> just let the silence be there. <laughs> you had to fill the silence. <laughs> she goes, yes. I love when Jess loses it. It's the greatest. And I love, I love it. when she tries to speak as she's laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to be in Tiff's position, pregnant, <laughs> me, that's me that's right here. Us. Um, we have the pill club. Uh, if you're on birth control, remembering to take your pills is already enough work. If I had to remember, that's why I had an implant. But if I had to remember to take pills, I would be so pregnant all the time. Yeah, dude. I would always forget. Um, but now you can forget going to the doctor in person to get your prescription and pick it up from the pharmacy. The Pill Club wants to help take the work out of taking care of yourself. The Pill Club is a birth control subscription prescribed by a medical professional and delivered straight to your door for free, which I wish we had back then yeah. because going to the clinic sucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was really embarrassing when you're like 18, 19, 20. Yeah. No. And wait there for like five hours at a time. Yeah. It was awful. And they're like, do you want to disguise who's calling so that your parents yeah. don't yeah. know? I'm like, yes. God, I wish we had this back then. Uh, the Pill Club carries over 120 FDA approved brands. Most brands of birth control are free with insurance or Medicaid. Otherwise, prices start as low as $7 per month without insurance, which is very cheap That's compared really to how affordable. much a kid will cost yeah. for 18 years. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And their licensed medical team is just a text away to give you the best reproductive health care. So skip the office visit and waiting in line at the pharmacy and join the club right now when you go to the pillclub.com slash big mood the pill club is offering a ten dollar donation to bedsider.org for every big mood listener who becomes a patient your donation will help low-income individuals get access to birth control through bedsider.org that. that's, that's dope. cool yeah i love so bedsider cool. mm -hmm. uh that's the pillclub.com slash big mood to get your first birth control care package and donate to help more women in need of affordable birth control remember that's the pillclub.com slash big mood you must must use the link to make a donation. All right. So my hair is not even like the thing that's going on in my no, life right yeah. now. yeah. <laughs> I just uh, had to tell you that I don't want you to keep cutting her hair. But yeah. I just wanted Jess to bitch at me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. It, it makes me feel loved. It does. <laughs> so Keenest for that. you. There's she was gone last month. Um, but no, we're actually, uh, we're house shopping right now. Like seriously, where we're like, making offers on places so you've been and, saying that for a while but you're like for sure for sure gonna start it takes me a while to like you were saying like i need to get used to an idea first before i can make a big change that's why i can't just dye my hair i need to like get used to an idea for a while before it goes so we were actually house shopping for this place for two years before i was like at the point of like let's go like let's pull the trigger now um, so yeah, we're finally there. We've been shopping for about a year in Las Vegas and I had just a lot of emotional attachment to this place. Yeah. And there was like, I've lived in California all my life. So it's weird to move to a different state, even though Vegas feels like an extension of LA. Um, I just have never thought I would leave this state, but there's so much opportunity out there and there's so much that I love. And like our, our best our best friend couple that used to live around the corner from us, uh, we would like hang out every single weekend. They moved there two years ago and um, they love it. And they've been trying to get us to like move out forever. And so we finally were like, okay, 
we're doing it. Um, everything in, in LA that we had attachments to, like we used to shoot this podcast in a studio that mm. we moved. And then, um, our podcast used to be shot in a studio and they shut that studio down. So I'm like, okay, well, everything we do is from home now. We're kind of like detached from everything we used to have solidly in LA. Well, Steve kind of goes to JK. Steve but, does go to JK, yeah. but it's only twice a month. And since half of JK is already in yeah. Las Vegas. Maybe they'll move over there anyway. They you might know. because even um I think like Joe is even staying out there too. Oh, wow. So really? oh. yeah. So well, we'll see what happens with that. But we're okay with traveling for work. Um the houses we're looking at are just so worth it. They the ones we're looking at beautiful. right now are like ne next to a lake and they're just gorgeous. It looks like California. Like, because when you think yeah. Vegas, you think like a certain desert. type mm -hmm. of, yeah, desert and Grimy. desolate, no trees. But the houses are really nice, at least in this area that we've been looking. And, um, Every neighborhood has to give like a little bit of an HOA, but the HOAs are really small. Like here our HOA is 350. Oh, that's and that's actually on the cheaper great. side in the valley. Mm -hmm. And there it's like 80 bucks. And wow. all of the streets are just completely landscaped. They're like really nice. Everything's freshly paved. Here I'm like, where are our taxes going? The yeah. roads are disgusting. It's Everything is trash everywhere. In yeah. And, and then, also like just like the the actual policies that are like governmental things where it's like, well, kind of, California kind of takes it a little too far. Yeah, like you know that guy that built a bunch of tiny houses for all the homeless population and then they they tore them down. The city just destroyed them because they're like, oh, it's a fire hazard. Stupid. But now they're all weird. living in tents on the streets. Like, yeah. that's not a fire hazard. It's that's bananas. It's a public here. health hazard. Cool. So too. let me buy this house. Buy my house. I want to buy your house. <laughs> and then we, can, we don't have to change sets. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, my God. I have people renting out. Like, who the f why are you guys filming here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the policy you get one bedroom, I get the rest of the house. Yeah. <laughs> you can give them the bedroom way in the back. Yeah. And then they don't even, you won't even see them. Exactly. Because the way our house layout is, if you watch the vlog, I'll probably see it but it's connected to the other half of the house just through the kitchen yeah. so everything back there is super private at one point we were considering like maybe renting it out but yeah. you know now we're just going but yeah i'm really excited because this is the closest we've been to moving and i've finally detached myself enough from seeing all these gorgeous houses out there that i'm like okay i think i can leave our condo mm -hmm. even though when i look at our condo i'm like it's finally the place i wanted it to be but yeah it's all good this is why i don't decorate because <laughs> i know like i don't know if it's permanent or not well so you'll be there for like five years that's true or more can't do it <laughs> i am really impacted by my environment same so if i wake up and i hate everything around me i just don't even want to get out of bed yeah mm -hmm. but if i love it i'm like so ready to work yeah that's why as soon as we move and like i've moved so many times in my entire life but I learned about myself that as soon as I move, I need to unpack everything. Yep. Mm -hmm. I cannot live with boxes and shit like everywhere. Like it fucking drives me crazy. I need to make sure everything's like lived in already. Yeah. yeah. When, when we move, you won't hear from me for like two weeks because <laughs> I just have to make sure everything is in place. It has to feel like home. Yeah, it does. And even when I first moved out of my parents' house, that was the number one thing I was scared of was like, it won't feel like home because I don't know where everything is. There's not like bath towels all ready to go so i fully bought everything to make it like exactly how it was at home oh to not cute. feel like oh, what yeah. am i doing I'm on my own yeah. yeah but it's cool if i wasn't impacted by my environment it would definitely save a lot of money not decorating yeah i'm like big chilling i have like no artwork up big chilling <laughs> yeah i've seen yeah <laughs> well your priorities is like your setup like your my streaming setup yeah, yeah like it's yeah. on my computer's I mean, the green Perfect. screen makes it look like your apartment True. looks amazing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bridget, hell on my green screen. My green screen. <laughs> your green screen look... room? Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I live am there. so wealthy. <laughs> yeah. I'm in a penthouse. Isn't it a sky? Yeah, it's a skyline. Yeah, it's a skyline penthouse. <laughs> it's just like your Animal Crossing house. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. That's right. I only had one nice room. <laughs> yeah. That would be my stream room. And then the rest of everything else just went to shit. <laughs> so guests. Sense. Fuck them. Yeah, guests. Living room. You guys can just sit on a box. Yeah, the only reason you have couches in your living room is because they were given to you, right? Exactly. Yeah. I want them somehow <laughs> you want on, a, them? on a raffle I was like oh cool this thing's dope do you want artwork when i leave here sure okay it's not gonna go up okay <laughs> <laughs> it sits in a, on a pile yeah, it's just a pile why would you take it <laughs> never mind start hoarding. <laughs> i start the thing is it's funny because i realized that i started hoarding for my actual place 
Oh. Like, no, I'm, I'm, you can't do that. It's weird. No. You can't hoard random crap. You know, it's weird. Yeah. Your real house, you're gonna want like new, awesome and it shit. Needs to go. Yeah, it's gonna be new once I open it. Once I get to my <laughs> oh, house. God. right now, it's in boxes. So when I get my new place, it's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, that's the style of house you you're gonna get. This is true. That and that's the reason why also like it's hard for me to decorate because I can't decide what I want my when room to look like. When you do move and get like your house that you're ready to decorate, please call me and Tiff so we can do it. Why don't okay. you just do that like, would be fun to do together? I know that'd be so fun vampire chic no see yeah. the thing is my i've gone through like i've seriously been thinking about redecorating the last month or so i'm like you know what i've been here for like five years i should do something and i've gone between like super like streamer beautiful lights neon and everything or uh bohemian wood palettes and fake plant fake plants mm -hmm. okay i think do your bedroom mm -hmm. or wherever you're streaming do it like neon all crazy and then everywhere else do it bohemian and yeah because you, you're gonna want a place where you relax i want the bohemian separate. in my room though mm -hmm. oh okay which is weird because if i wanted like it's weird like my computer neon futuristic everything and then my i don't think in her something. house house yeah. her bedroom yeah. has a separate yeah. Same room, yeah. Yeah. Different room. Yeah. for your streaming <laughs> Because yes. that's what we that's why we needed a three bedroom because we both have offices and then our bedroom. Right. Because I don't want our bedroom to be cluttered with work stuff. Mm -hmm. There needs to be a, a barrier. That's what yeah. I mean. When you work from home, it's like you want there to be like a separation between personal and uh, work. I should move my desk out to the I dining room you yeah have, but you then, guys have like those so many like middle rooms you have like that's two true. i you used have like three stream. living rooms in your house I you do actually yeah. i do but i used to stream in one of them and but the house is so old the electric the like whatever it would power off like oh. my, my power oh, would go out shit. because my computer was just running yeah, well you're too sucking crazy. all kinds of freaking amps yeah so i couldn't that's the reason why i had to move it into my room because oh. my power would cut out like midstream. That Dang. sucked. Yeah. Hey, when I move to Vegas, will you help me set up a streaming area? Because I want to stream poker games online. Oh, yeah. Because cool. I easy. can't do online poker here, mm -hmm. but in Vegas. <laughs> oh. I could uh, be a Twitch poker streamer. I don't know. Can we stream gambling on Twitch? I don't think you can. In Las Vegas, you can. There's what? Twitch stream poker streamers. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. it's just, just in Las Vegas or in New Jersey. You just oh. have to be in the state that allows online. Interesting. That's cool. Yeah, it's easy to set up. I didn't yeah. that. Mm -hmm. sweet are you gonna be selfish like jess and not let us look through your things before you move no. i was not selfish <laughs> i actually i had told a... you to come and y'all were like i'm so busy today. There, was a, there was a perfectly we're not good doing bottle this again, again. So jessica. Busy. jessica we're not doing this again we're not doing it again you, you said we you were ready to go moving. you said you didn't want us you to go you told us not to come we're upset. We're upset. we were upset. here i'm still upset no <laughs> but it's okay because i would get rid of it all anyway but then tiff could have it yes I love free. But yeah, uh, I actually had a <laughs> box of stuff that I wanted you guys to go through, but then um, I had to put it all away in oh, storage for, for yeah, just because if we lost our house soon, you know. Mm, well, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. But I'm I will let you know because there's definitely stuff. And there's yeah. like stuff that I'm like, I liked this, but I yeah. just want to start over. Sometimes yeah. you got to just like yeah. really let go of even the things you do like. Mm-hmm. I know. I think we're going to have to move once this baby comes because we have like zero room. I'll buy your house too. <laughs> yeah. You should. Yeah. You have a bunch of money saved up yeah. because you don't spend you need to buying property, Gina. That's what I'm actually focusing on now, Good. investing in like, property, in property, but also yeah. just dicking around on stocks and crypto. This and would make a great rental property. Yeah. We were thinking yeah. about it, but then we wouldn't have enough for a down payment in Vegas. But yeah, these like a lot of them are rented out yeah and three bedrooms is it's good because like good roommates like you know like 28 year old roommates or whatever would love a place like this yeah it's kind of like working professionals yeah. it's very private because yeah. like i can't hear steve he's all the way back there and i'm all the way up here mm -hmm. and we have to call each other to yeah be able to talk to each other so it's very quiet and private yeah it is a good rental place by my house by my house i want to probably buy your house <laughs> Sick. Sick. <laughs> yeah once the baby comes we're gonna have to move our entire office into our bedroom that's when I'm like, fuck, oh, we, no. we need to get a new place. Yeah, yeah. Keep, yeah. your house separate. is way hey, too small. Move to Vegas. So what happens? No, I know a place. Yeah. You know the house next door to the one that we're we were making offers on is also for sale. Just got listed. It's oh. right next door. If you guys become neighbors, that'd be the cutest thing. I know, thing. cute free babysitters. I yes, I would love dope. that. Right next door. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, maybe. No, I just, I just what don't want to live in Vegas. It's just so hot and gross. No, it was oh, okay. It was never mind. seventy-eight degrees when we went oh, there, Texas. and it was. 88 degrees when i left la so la was 88 vegas was 78 and there was no smog it was blue skies it was like i've never seen a sky so blue and the clouds looked like cartoon clouds because yeah. they're like so white compared to the blue sky but what is the Came school back here, system all like smoggy. 
Because School we system's current, bad. It's yeah, see? Oh. Yeah. yeah. We're trying to raise kids. Really? Like we yeah. like You've from where we like used to five live, years. Where we used where we used to live to where we currently live, we upgraded in the school system. Mm. Like now it's like a lot it better. It sounds like you need to move to Dallas. It sounds like Dude, we're actually we should kind never of considering it. it. We're kind yeah. of considering Dallas, even though I complain about being hot. Also, Florida. well, Dallas is way north, so it's like not anything like Central and South. Texas. So you don't mind like Dallas, hot as long as it's humid. Yeah, yeah. I was just you're sweating say, out your asshole. Say, you're fine with it. I Dallas, say that. Yeah, but you know what? Humidity is good for skin and hair, so you can age like J Lo. Yeah, no, and, and then Casey has insane. sensitive skin, so humidity is great for me. And he's fucking already lived in, in Florida. No, Dallas weather is insane. Do you guys get like tornadoes, earthquakes, fires, no. and like storms and, and then sunshine last in one winter, hour? How crazy! Uh, one earthquake could wipe out Los Angeles. That's why I'm out too, because like Las Vegas, no, no earthquake. I can Wait, put a uh, really? shelf above my bed. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what? what is a, what I hung a mirror without the fucking wall anchors. I was like, yeah. ain't nothing gonna take Try this it. baby Try down. <laughs> what natural disaster hits Vegas? Oh, nothing. Yeah. Well, drought, maybe. Yeah, drought. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, really? Like if the There's AC no went earthquakes? out, then maybe oh, like yeah. we'd be fucked. Yeah. We'd all AC, cook in our yeah. houses. Yeah. Yeah. What about the San Andreas Fault? Isn't no. it like here that way? No, I don't think so. Just down the, it's straight down California. It'll cut off Los Angeles. Yeah, y'all will be an island off of the u.s if it ever split the we'll land to hawaii yeah <laughs> right jess has been dating she she went no. on a date oh, in my no. house I, she went on a date really? in my house yeah it was pretty rad she, i've only done facetime screenings yeah but i have so okay can i start from the beginning a little bit jesus christ how much Sorry, time I, like, I got excited <laughs> tell us about your life breaking jess. news jess is ready to get laid again <laughs> <laughs> not really i mean i don't know i'm on the fence so i Obviously, I wasn't dating all of last year. I was really focused on getting my CPA exams done. Mm -hmm. And so I just took my last one on, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know when this is coming out, but I just took my last one. I haven't gotten the score back yet, but I'm assuming I passed because I passed. As soon as you get it, you all better the text us. Yeah. Because last time I found out through fucking stories and Instagram. Yeah. And I was like, bitch. We're all going to get junk food. I was like, they one. don't give a fuck. So we, uh, we do. <laughs> we do. But yeah, so we're your this family. Is, this I, is my future, too. If okay. I go broke, <laughs> you have to take me in. I will take care of Thank you. Thank you. I will go take care of you. You can follow by the house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I finally finished my exams and I was like, okay, well, that was the main thing that I had to get done and I couldn't, like, get sidetracked because you know sometimes when you're in like these kind of shitty one-off relationships and you're kind of like up and down and up and down and mm -hmm. then it's like dating is kind of hard and distracting when you're really trying to get something important done so i'm basically done now so i kind of got back on hinge and i try to get on bumble too i don't really love that one i don't know i don't really love online dating at all mm -hmm. but i'm trying it and so i've done three facetime screening dates like not really dates but just like let's make sure we are even interested in going on a date yeah. before mm -hmm. i waste my time a pre-date a pre-approval yeah. date yeah like <laughs> pre date zero right so yeah. um, send in your papers yeah Cover give me your credit score yeah. yeah so two of them um i wasn't really interested you should actually check their credit score i mean at this age true mm -hmm. you don't I mean, want to if it comes down to it. it i will but yeah. we're not you know i gotta get on the I'm first date yeah but <laughs> <laughs> she's actually taking it no so, i'm not so, well, maybe so. i like, would i feel like it should be a maybe new like, i have like an 800 so i'm not gonna get with a 650 yeah. like listen i'll pay for half the dinner but show me your credit score <laughs> yeah yeah no i'm not paying for the dinner fuck that <laughs> anyways um so yes i've gone on three facetime screening dates haven't been on any real dates yet the first two i wasn't interested in and i just had my third one when i got to nikki's house i had like we did like an hour phone FaceTime um, and I liked him, but I told him, you know, I'm going to be out of town this whole week. So, you know, text me later. There we'll haven't see. been any repeat guy like repeat no. dates. No. But I feel like, you know, there's some sort of power in being celibate for over a year there because is. you have gotten like hotter from yeah. being celibate. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lack of stress from men. A lack yeah. of stress yeah. from men. Yeah. Like your wrinkles disappeared. Yeah. Like you know, you not that you had any wrinkles, but more youthful. Yeah, you look more your youthful. Your butt got bigger. And you haven't no. even been Hair's full. doing Botox. <laughs> no, I haven't done Botox in over a year. Being mm -hmm. celibate is a better Botox. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's I the suppose. answer. That's yeah, the fountain not, of youth. Not letting men stress you out <laughs> is actually great. That's what's honestly kind of scaring me because I've gotten so used to being being so stable and like not dealing with any bullshit not feeling like oh is this person lying to me like blah 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 blah. so i'm just like i feel so i don't know like i don't want anyone to come into my life now and fuck it up so yeah. i'm just like man maybe i really will like not date anyone i don't know like i, mean, I don't know if i'm gonna like well, let at least it you're happen. doing it in a very like efficient way where you're like yeah. screening people or, like, because there's one guy okay so i've been attracted to two of the three physically right one the first one i liked him in photos but when we facetimed i was like oh no it's not 
Oh. I'm not attracted. But the other two I've been attracted to um, in the FaceTime as well. The second one, though, total fuckboy vibes. And I was so glad that I wasn't there in person and drinking mm -hmm. to, like, fall into the fuckboy trap, mm. which is something I've done a thousand times before. So I feel like it's a very easy way now with the FaceTime screenings to be like, oh, yeah, that's definitely a fuckboy. Like, I'm not... I'm not going down you that road. You have to like, like leave your house to yeah deal and, with it, and then you know because I I easily get sucked in by fuckboy vibes. You know, like I will fall for yeah. it. Yeah, I'll fucking you know I've done that a million times. So now I'm just like yeah no no well, they yeah, always got no, no not doing that was it. a test you passed yeah. the test yeah. yeah the thing is though is if you're not in a rush to have kids I'm not then you're fine like you're just you're open but you yeah. like your life more yeah. than needing a guy and so if the right person does come along then cool if they enhance your life great but you don't need it mm -mm. which is the best position to be in exactly yeah. you're not desperate it's weird too because i feel like it's such a, a a novel or like a it's like not a common way of thinking where you know like we have guys well, that'll be like, oh, you need to lower your standards because you're going to be alone forever. And I'm like, that's Who cares? the point. That's yeah. yeah, I'm okay with that. Like, she has dogs. I don't know how to tell people like that don't believe me that I'm like, that, I'm okay with not being married. Yes, you know? people and, but, don't understand that because I was the same way before Steve and I started dating. I was like, I'm good for being single like for a long ass time because yeah. I just don't want to deal with, I don't like when my mind is taken up by whether or not the guy is texting me back or yeah, like yeah. my boyfriend might be cheating on me or yeah. some shit and like I'm dealing with it it's taking up all of my energy I can't like w focus on work and then being single was like you know what I actually like myself I value myself I have my cats that cuddle with me every night like I don't I have body yeah. warmth yeah. But no one, no one really experienced like a lot of people really don't experience that because I didn't understand yeah. that at all too. Like, but like before I met Joe, when I was single during that time in my early twenties, I was just so sad and desperate and just like, oh, uh, like because you're not. Okay I needed with you. something. I wasn't okay with myself. So I was like, I have to be with someone. And then like the thought of like dying alone was like the worst idea ever. And then guys would be like pressuring you, like, oh yeah, well you should be this and you should be that. That is what a guy's gonna want. And so I would like try to do that, and then that would fuck me over. Yeah. And now I'm just like. <sighs> yeah i really don't give a fuck and I, like I, it's sad because i know a lot of people don't believe me and they're like not willing to try Listen, to get there they haven't been there yeah. and i yeah. i totally feel you because you have to be alone for a certain amount of time it takes a while though yeah it takes a while to get over the hump and which, then to mm. like also purge yourself of all this like yeah. you have to unfuck your brain yeah. from its wiring that it <laughs> yeah. was in and then you're like you know what I actually like myself. I like my own company. Yeah. The detox stage. You have yeah. To yeah. So now guys are not competing against each other for my attention. They're competing against me mm -hmm. and my life. And most of them, 99% won't cut it. And that's not and that's saying fine. that they're not good looking enough or don't rich make enough, enough money or whatever. About yeah. That. It's just literally like, just I, like do you I enhance know. my life or not? Would my life feel better with you in it yeah. or would I feel more stressed out and yeah. most people are going to stress you out more than they're going to make yeah. you feel better. Yeah, so the standard thing is realize, stupid. You come to realize like what's sadder the fact that me not having kids or a husband or you not being okay with having to have someone else. Yeah. Like, are you like why what's wrong like with you? Like you, you depending can't? on yeah. this what's to, sadder like you depending projecting on that someone yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. It's because they can't imagine. There's multiple ways to live your life, right? And some people are like super drawn to having a family. And I'm, I'm like, I think that you're meant to live that life, right? Yeah. Like, but then I've no, I don't feel like I'm, like I have the gene or something. Like the thought of having a child in my body, I feel like no fucking way. I feel mm. like I have a high propensity of having severe postpartum. Mm. Like, I just don't think that I am that person. So like, I'm, I don't know, maybe it blows yeah. some people's mind, but I'm just like, I don't think that i'm going down that route that makes sense because other yeah. people have different like yeah goals things that yeah goals or even like preferences or like everyone has their own like route yeah, yeah. like for example my cousin she always is like that's what i want and she doesn't stop until she gets it yeah she's like i'm gonna be a lawyer she immediately became a lawyer and then she was like i want a baby she was like i don't even care about a husband like yeah. i just want a mm -hmm. baby she's like i'm gonna go i have to move away for this job i'm gonna find a guy to impregnate me <laughs> and she brought back a boyfriend they got married right away and then she had a baby right away and she was like i'm gonna have a baby in two years like, she, she can make it. her shit yeah. happen and yeah. she's I like I don't know she 
says you know, she's in she loves her boyfriend or she loves her husband but like it wasn't this whole like big love story it was like she wanted to be a mom she now has a family and she's a mom and so like you know people have different ideas of yeah. what they consider to be success and for you and me maybe marriage and family wasn't like the our idea of success for me it was always career based and then I you know priorities shift as you get older but yeah I wasn't like I need a man to make me my life. Right. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten to that point either. It's like, I don't want kids and I don't feel like I need a family. I'm yeah. just so happily in love with my work right now. Mm -hmm. And I just want to focus on that because this is like a whole new big thing. And like, mm -hmm. I want to do that. Instead yeah, of it's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that might help you, Jess, is putting on deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> on your day and you're, you're, lucky, you're lucky these were remotes. <laughs> yeah. Because if it was in person. <laughs> mm. I know you're not trying to impress the man, no, but like maybe shit. just to like yeah. impress yourself. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that you smell good for you. I like the way you. that native smells. I love the cucumber and melon one. Yeah. I like their, they bring joy to myself. Native mm -hmm. is our sponsor uh that the best deodorant because uh native cares about the products you put on your body they love stopping the stink the right way that's the native difference it's an organic deodorant so you don't have to worry about aluminium clogging your pores aluminium, aluminium. you probably already know about native's legendary uh deodorant al aluminum free de deodorant but have you tried their body wash mm. toothpaste or their brand new mineral based sunscreen the i have sunscreen, tried the sunscreen yeah, yeah it's that great sunscreen. It smells um, really good. Yeah, they have a broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen for your face and body. It's lightweight, as, absorbs quickly, and you can choose between unscented or coconut and pineapple. That one smells good. Yeah, that one's really good. Uh, overhaul your entire hygiene routine by putting the care and self-care with products carefully made to work against odor that are made with simple ingredients and smell great. You can get deodorant, body wash, and amazing scents like coconut and vanilla, citrus and herbal musk, lavender and rose, and more. And you can even build your own personalized product bundles, which is really cool. You can mix and match three of your favorite scents and keep them on rotation so you have something for every occasion. Stay fresh, stay clean with Native by going to nativedo.com slash bigmoodgirls or use promo code bigmoodgirls at checkout and get 20% off your first order. That's nativedeo.com slash bigmoodgirls or use promo code bigmoodgirls at checkout for 20% off your first order. Yes. And yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. If you need some... Uh straight white teeth like i have oh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm still on dating, dating? Yeah. 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 straight white man oh, okay. no uh, <laughs> we don't give a shit about straight or white but we do and with teeth yes we do care about <laughs> candid clear aligners Thousands of people have used candid the clear comfortable removable and practically invisible aligners to help straighten your teeth it's pretty cool how uh, you don't have to go to the dentist. You don't have to sit there with all the anxiety that comes from being in a dentist's office. Screaming kids. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Yeah, screaming kids. Hear the drill sounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's me. I'm screaming. Oh, yeah. You can just get these comfortable clear aligners from uh, your own home, which is great. Your treatment is prescribed and closely monitored remotely by the same li licensed orthodontist from start to finish. While other companies use general dentists, which who knows how good they are at this, Candid only works with orthodontists who are experts in tooth movement. You can book an appointment at a Candid studio near you or do everything from the comfort and convenience of your own home. The average Candid treatment is just six months, but you'll start seeing results way before then, and it costs thousands less than traditional braces. With your aligner treatment, you'll also get Candid's teeth whitening for free. We like candid. Candid. We do love candid. free <laughs> stuff. Candid can help you get the straighter, brighter smile you've always wanted. Right now, you can save $75 on Candid Starter Kit. Go to candidco.com slash mood and use code mood. That's candidco.com slash mood with the code mood. Take advantage of this limited time offer to save $75 on your starter kit. CandidCO.com slash mood and use the code mood. Yay. Yay. Yeah. But also, so dating is like really kind of like last on my list of importance. I also just got a job. I know. Yay. Congratulations. Yay. Congrats. I was like spending so much time preparing for interviews. Like I was watching thousands of YouTube videos. I like prepared a ton of um, possible scenarios for questions I could be asked. And then I just like got into the interview and none of that was even necessary. And I just like got the job immediately. You're definitely an overprepared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's but, better to be that than to be underprepared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was a point where like I got, I got an, a phone interview with a very, very, very huge company. I was like, how did this even happen? Like, this is like a statistical anomaly that I even got selected for even a phone screening. Really? So I how think come? my resume was just like 
really well done online because everything's like algorithm right uh, so like whatever i did on my resume fucking works because i got yeah. a phone call from like the number one company That's awesome. but i didn't make it through the phone screening because i think i mean i think after they kind of look at it they're like oh you've been out of the industry for like six years this is probably not the best candidate mm. compared to like other people but i was proud of myself that i fucking made it through the algorithm yeah. I got a phone call. Okay. but then yeah so i got um i did i don't necessarily know if I regret that though, because like some stuff I've been reading in forums about these like major, major top firms, like a lot of the people that work there are actually really unhappy right now. Mm. So the company that I did get a job at, I feel like is going to be a really good medium because it's still like a very big company. I'll still get resume clout, but they're not quite as having as much human resources issues as some of the larger companies. So mm. I feel yeah. like it's, uh, I kind of got like what's good for me right yeah. now. Yeah, for like, sure. What's meant for you. Yeah. When like what I can handle at the mm -hmm. moment. I'm so. a strong believer in that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That you're just like, you got the one that's meant for you. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And like, because the, the partner that did the interview with me, cause I did a phone screening and then I got to move on to like a partner and a senior director to actually talk to me for the interview. And like the partner showed up uh, it's all it was all virtual. He showed up with this long freaking beard, like Santa Claus, like, I don't know, motorcycle guy beard and a T-shirt. And I was like, oh. <laughs> what the hell? You know, like just super casual. You're an accountant for like, a Hells Angels. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The team. <laughs> but this is like a huge it's international company. <laughs> so it was like shocking, right? That's <laughs> dope. I would way rather work for that yeah. company. So mm -hmm. I was just like, I think that's why it was so easy for me to get that job because I'm, you know, I'm a very talkative, easygoing kind of casual person. So mm -hmm. that the fact that he showed up uh, as a partner of this firm with a beard and a t-shirt to interview, <laughs> like, it was just so much easier for me to deal with that than like probably jumping straight into like the top level corporate yeah, hardcore yeah. shit. You know, mm -hmm. I just, I don't know That's if I would have, if I would have been able to get past that, but. So when do you start? Like what's the problem? Like what's happening? Um, like mid October. Oh, oh wow! That's so probably really by the soon. time this comes out, yeah, wow. yeah. yeah. Oh. I thought you were starting like in a month or so. Mm. Um, well, because I was gonna start like November or something, but I was just like, what? Why even? Yeah, that's awesome. Wait, like, just go ahead and get started. So they're yeah, yeah, they're shipping my laptop out to me. I think I'm working remotely still. Congrats! Cool. That's even now. better. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I don't really want Move to. Move to Vegas. I don't really want. <laughs> I honestly don't really want to work remotely, but I'm doing it because that's just like how the industry is right now. But as an auditor, I, I actually liked going to different offices and like being able to travel around and see different stuff. And I like being around people and I like working in groups. And so like the fact that I just still have to be at home by myself on my mm. laptop, I honestly kind of makes me sad. so long. Of you yeah. That. And you were looking forward to buying business clothes. Yeah, I wanted to like yeah. look cute and like, just buy the top. They won't see the hell. There's really say a, mullet outfits, dude. No, I don't like Zoom calls and shit like that. So I just want to go back in the office and work. So I mean, I'm like, I'm vaccinated. Like as soon as y'all let us back out in the field, like I'm ready to go. But you know, They're I'll just like, do what I have no. to do while I stay home. <laughs> We're so yeah. opposite. I know. Same. <laughs> Keep me at home. Oh yeah. Go home. <laughs> I'm like this. This podcast is now shot at my home, and I'm still late to it. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, well, Gina, your your show's coming out soon. Okay. How's yeah. that? How are you feeling? Um, kind of nervous, but I'm really excited. We are projected to go live on when does this come out? This All right, out so October we're projected to go out live on TV or not live. I'm sorry, we're going to be on TV. I can't say when, so I'm really excited about it. We're the by, end of this year ish. We don't know. You can't even say that. Can't even say. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Um. But I think by the time this episode comes out, we'll be announcing that we will have our own TV channel, and we're moving into the studio this next coming week we built like a sixty-five thousand square foot studio wow which i don't know oh, how big huge. it is because i don't know how to compare that sixty-five thousand like, square feet is huge is that like that's a costco huge. times <laughs> yeah. like you know i need i feel like a costco reference. is like a hundred thousand square feet i don't yeah. know footage either yeah <laughs> it's pretty big yeah i don't know okay so Maybe we have like i just know how much square footage is my house and that's it yeah so <laughs> and that's like 1800 and downstairs 16, oh, yeah. yeah but that's She's like so your bottom is eight her house times 65 it's pretty, yeah. it's pretty big it's pretty big yeah. yeah so we built a new studio it's huge it's here in burbank and we're moving in next week and it's kind of crazy like i this is a huge shift in life and it's weird they told us we're gonna be in front of a very large audience oh, oh shit wow. it's live not live oh. but we're going to like be, how many viewers like, well, it's in a live studio audience or like no, not a live studio like a live broadcasted audience it's not it's 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 not live live yeah well, but like it's not it's live on tv watching yeah yeah they're watching you in real time we're like, gonna be on tv yeah, yeah. your studio is the size of a football field 
Oh, wow. wow. That's pretty big. That's so pretty Casey big. said the size of her studio is the size of a football field. That's big, right? A hundred yeah. yards. That's pretty big. Yeah. That's pretty big. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but we are confirmed we're going to be on TV and it's like weird and crazy and it's scary because I'm going to be on the show that I dreamed of being yeah. on as a kid. Yeah. That's amazing. But I'm also having that imposter syndrome, you know, mm-hmm. it's like, oh shit. Like, don't. I went from just. You're so perfect for that show. You deserved it, girl. Yeah. You worked uh-huh. for it. It's. I don't think all those executives and all the people that like finally went through all of the casting would make mistakes. Like they really don't ever make mistakes. Yeah. Like they know what they want. They know what's going to work. Yeah, they're not, they're not dumb. But I get, yeah. I get what you're saying. That was a huge step. Yeah, it's just like her, like with the. I'm sure she went. I'm sure Jess went through imposter syndrome with like the top company calling her. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But so it's it's a uh, because it's it feels weird from going from like this shitlord on my computer in my room for the last yeah. however mm-hmm. many years streaming to, hey, like you have a schedule. You come in, you film like four or five days a week. We have key cards for you to go into the facilities. We have lunch and. Whatever. It's like, oh, I'm like a straight up corporate person now. Yeah. And that's weird. That's so weird that yeah. you're the one. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's doing so that. strange. Like so, sometimes I'll text Gita and she's awake at like eight in the morning. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why yeah, did she text weird. back so fast? Yeah. She, says she has a job now. <laughs> so weird. So, I know. Now she's getting to places on time and shit. Yeah. Like, what? It's this fucking is awful. weird. <laughs> it's like everything. I don't I've even know you. The opposite of for like <laughs> yeah. my whole life. You're fighting against it. Yeah. Um. So this month of October, we're, we've gone dark. We to before we did a thing called Before G4 TV, which is uh, we're doing. We were streaming live every week. Um. For however many months now, they want to say like since March, May or something. Mm-hmm. And so we've been just streaming on on Twitch and stuff. But for the month of March, we announced we're going dark. We're not streaming. We're or moving October. into October. Sorry, for the mo- month of October, we're going dark. There's no streaming. There's Nothing that we're going to be putting out uh, media wise because we're preparing for the big thing. And it's wild, man. Like, a I, huge step. I don't know how I'm going to take this. Like, You're I'm going to be fucking, famous. I got to get my roots no, redone. Yeah. Resta- I knew you back when. <laughs> please, whatever you do, please get the roots <laughs> done. Get yeah. out. Now I'm like contemplating. I'm like, shit, that means like I went to the gym. I started going to the gym because I have to keep up now. Yeah. Like, you actually yeah, have to yeah. look hot. Yeah. And it for real. sucks. <laughs> yeah. Gina, this place is close to work. This is very close to work. By my also. house. You just really want <laughs> someone house. to buy your house. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I'm, I'm like contemplating going back to Brunette because roots are a bitch to touch up all the yeah. time and they're expensive. And I'm just like trying it's to kind of like out. messed up. Like when they're filming too, like for the continuity, like you, if you have yeah. to go back and do a shot, your roots are like four inches long. Exactly. Yeah. Really. <laughs> and like my That's hairstylist true. is like booked out a month in advance all the time. So I got to oh, find a local shit. one. Oh, yeah. and it's a lot, dude. Gotta, but at least you get a your own makeup artist on set. Uh, I don't know if we do. Wait, I thought you Because did. for, for, for gaming stuff i don't know if we need that because like we're just a bunch of nerds you know so it's 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 a big shift in life and i am thankful for it i'm just scared um but other than that like i'm finally starting to invest my money that's why i want to buy Nikki's house and i want to buy a bunch of investment properties and do stuff because buy all the land we were just talking yesterday because i was hesitant to put this offer on a place and she's but it has everything that we want like it's everything that we've ever that i've ever wanted this place i would want to live here you'll here yeah but the place that we're putting an offer on and she's like why are you so hesitant i was like i don't know because i feel like it's such a big step and i'm like i why like am i allowed to do like to buy like double the house that we have Mm -hmm. now and it's like such a great neighborhood i'm like Am I a real adult? Like that's right? crazy. Yeah. Like they're trusting. Like, like I'm a child. So. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. dude. Like I realized that because my best friend Amy, she came across this girl at her workplace. She's like 17 years old and she's in the foster system. And Amy loved her so much. She was like, I'm putting in papers to possibly adopt her and be her what? foster mother. Wow. And Amy's like a couple of years younger than me. And, and then I had a moment where like, oh shit, we're allowed to do that. That's yeah. amazing. Like they hey, trust dude, us. Dude, we're old. Yeah. Yeah. We're like in our dude, mid But I'm a child. <laughs> dude, I literally had the yeah. same realization. Like I can't get had... pregnant. I'm a teen pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, that's <Yeah>. weird. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say when I, when I had Isaac where I was like, holy crap, this human I can say and do like things like to raise this human. Yeah. What? Yeah. You can <laughs> tell the truth room. I'm like, yeah, even now, exactly. When I tell him to do things, I'm like, holy shit, he has to listen to me yeah, because yeah. I'm his mom. <laughs> right? yeah. That's so cool. It's weird. <laughs> I'm like that with my cat. Like, who trusted me with a living thing, <laughs> you know? But like, I'm starting to realize, like, oh shit, like, we're straight up adults. We are now. adults. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's still as confusing as 
like we thought they had the shit figured out. They yeah, yeah. they do a good yeah. job at pretending they have yeah. shit figured out. The people that's like doing your loan or whatever, like yeah. they're fucking idiots too. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're all idiots. We're all just a bunch of grown ass <laughs> idiots. Everyone's an idiot. And then that's I'm so looking true. back and I'm like, well, I'm, my mom had me at 22, and yeah. I'm just now realizing through conversations how like they didn't know what the fuck yeah. they were doing. I'm no. like, oh shit. Yeah. yeah. Adults like. Like truly, if you're in your young twenties right now or younger than that, like we don't know, like no one knows. Yeah. You're not so gonna don't know. No you, one you knows. Know, no one's gonna Seriously. Don't not even go. like the president. Like I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I don't they're know how to it. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> <clears throat> like I don't know how to buy houses. What I do is I just hire someone to do it for me. So I'm probably just gonna hire someone. And even that person's yeah. like, oh, yeah, I, I kind of know. That guy probably like rails <laughs> the real estate coke agents some, are yeah. also fucking idiots. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. they're all idiots. And My when, brother's one. <laughs> and how and how like prices go up and down. Like nobody yeah. really knows what ever anything's valued at. They just kind of spit out a number. They're like, uh, in seven fifty. Yeah, yeah, sure. Fuck that, it. Whatever. That work. Yeah. They're like, will well, they take that? Because I don't. This is a really sought is after that, neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Dude, I know. Even like bosses and like owners of companies yeah. and stuff. I'm like, oh my God, you're really dumb. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. I, really, I really look up to like a lot of people. And I'm like, holy shit. You, just, no one knows the yeah. fool by the title. Yeah. Two things, two things I've learned growing up is one, nobody knows what they're doing. And two, more people do cocaine than you think. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, LSD too. Yeah. But well, a lot of people do You're drugs. in Los Angeles, so. That's true. Oh, that's, that's true. true. I mean, like you. <laughs> yeah, so You should probably never know. go to the doctors again, by the way. Like, <laughs> or get surgeries done or stuff. Because, I mean, I've met well, some. Professionals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. They're like, they're like, like yeah, we might produce, whatever. Some yeah, some exactly. <laughs> some of the most important professions are actually like really fucked up individuals. Yeah. yeah. And we just let them run our country. Right? So. Yeah. yeah. We're so, all confused. It's, 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 it, that's what growing up is. And don't that's freak the key to life. Yeah. We, Knowing that no doing. one knows. Yeah. Yeah. I still don't know how to do my taxes. I just pay someone to do it. Exactly. Like, some of you people just. Do it on the computer. I'm like, you're fucking out of your mind. Yeah, Dude, whatever like, you don't know how to do, just pay someone to do it. Mm-hmm. Well, you can't pay someone to parent your kid, so you just gotta pay yeah. 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 the <laughs> Uh, not really. All those rich women whose kids only speak Spanish because their nannies raised them. I mean, yeah, you can, but not if you're trying to be the parent. You can't hire someone to be the parent for you. (laughs) We're just talking about you can. I mean, that's a good point. But like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I always feel fucking lost too. I'm like fuck if i do this it could fuck them up this way and if i do this it could fuck them up that way yeah. what the fuck do they're gonna do? they're gonna get fucked up no matter what so just have a savings set aside for therapy for them for when they're older <laughs> and have more than one just college in case fund one fucks and up. the therapy fund yeah. yeah the college one you can actually set up a i forget what it's called but the type of account where like it's like growth. an hsa but for education mm-hmm. so it can like you can invest in stocks with it and it can, oh yeah we have one of those yeah. i don't know what it's called because i don't fucking know I forget things. what it's called <laughs> so i, I should know, know this but i'm not gonna be in tax so don't ask me any fucking tax questions okay Damn even though it. i'm gonna be a cpa even though she just studied me. it <laughs> yeah <laughs> don't fucking you. ask me tax <laughs> questions wait now i'm confused you just went to school for a cpa what does that mean so cpas are not just tax people that's like saying a doctor but just, they can that's like saying a doctor right? just does foot surgeries okay, oh, okay. like so there's so many me. other shit going on oh. a cpa is not just a tax person a tax you, preparer, you don't to... even need a, a cpa license to be a tax preparer oh. that's like such a basic low level oh. version of something that, but if you can be a cpa CPA and then like have your own business doing just that but what does CPA stand for again? Certified, Certified Public, Public Accountant. Public. Computer Porn Analyst. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. Thank you so yeah. much for listening. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Check out our sponsors. Use our codes. Tell them you love us. Tell them you found us them through us and uh, it helps us out a lot. And also... Like us. Like us, yeah. thumbs up. Please just like it, like in general. Just, just yeah. like Please us. comments. Like you don't even need the thumbs up. Just like, 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 like us. If there's a hairstylist watching right now in the LA area, please let me know. Yeah, because I'm gonna need this done soon. Things are getting crazy. Okay, I love you. Well, you, you probably have it done by now. But yeah. yeah, give us, give us whatever how the highest stars possible. Like us, uh, follow all of our socials, and buy stuff from our subscribers. Sponsors. I mean, uh, from our sponsors in the description box. Yeah. Until then, thank you. Bye, guys. I love Goodbye. you. We love you. I love you. Bye. Bye.